Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Ah, I see we are ready, we are connected on time. I love it. Okay, so are we ready? I'm ready, teacher. Wonderful. So then Morena is going to be the first to read. Um, then we're going to practice each person a different paragraph. Remember yesterday, we almost finished, but we didn't finish the reading. Today, we're going to finish the reading, unit one, and begin unit two. Okay, before we begin, any questions, any problems in the platform or with an exercise? Or everything is okay? Everything is okay. All right, wonderful. Then in that case, we can practice our reading and make sure that we get started. I'm going to share with you my screen. Let's take a look and we'll do it together. Okay. Okay. Let's read it. Morena, or let's see. Morena, you're going to read the first paragraph, correct? Okay, teacher. Thank you, Morena. How fast can a home remodeling project be complete? Complete about uh, 48 hours at last. That's the basis of the popular reality TV show called Trading in Spaces. Good. Only the pronunciation, at least. At, at least. Mm -hmm. At least. Correct. At least. And the prop, uh, also the pronunciation, popular reality. Popular reality uh, show. Popular reality TV show. Mm -hmm. Good. Thanks Thank you, for, teacher. Thank you. All right. Estrella Luna, can you read the next paragraph? Maybe Estrella is in the car or a problem. Edith, can you please read the next paragraph? Okay. Um... Two sets of neighbors switch homes for two days and decorate a single room in their neighbor's home. But teams have the help of a designer, a handyman, and a budget of one thousand. Mm -hmm. Uh, at the end of the second day, the host reveals the rooms to the home owner, home owners, mm -hmm. who usually say, "Wow, that's great." Sometimes, however, they get upset. Okay, thank you very much, Edith. Only the pronunciation for a few of the words in the fluency. Remember, with money, always it's important to say uh, what? For example, 1,000 colones, pesos, dollars. Dollars. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yes. But I'm glad that you remember the number. I saw a little bit difficulty, but good job. Okay. It's okay, the vocabulary. Any questions? Uh, uh, oh. What is what, the meaning of? Owners. Homeowner is the people that have the house, no rent the house. They are the people that the house is for them. This is homeowners. Okay. okay. Great. Okay. Let's okay. see. That. Yes. What is the pronunciation? Homeowners? Homeowners. Correct. Uh, great. The next one, let's see. Edina, can you please read?
Okay, maybe Dina has some problems. Eric, Eric Cardoza, can you please read? Yes. Is this really, uh, really TV realistic? Up to a point, the designers actually get videotapes of the rooms and plan out every step beforehand. Even the ma materials are bullshit in, the, in advance. Uh, it's the same at home or one designer say, if you don't want, uh, if you don't want a project to last for a month, you need a game plan. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, good. Any words you don't know? Yes, uh, purchased. I don't know how to say it. Purchased. Yeah. Purchased is the synonym for buy. Ah, okay. And beforehand? Repeat. Beforehand. Uh, it's similar before. So they, they plan everything before they begin. This is beforehand. Ah, okay. Thanks. Okay. Hey, Dina, can you speak? Dina Elizabeth? No? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Thank you, Dina. Hey, excuse me, es que casi no escucha. Is the rain. Second, verdad? Eh... He said, so, how happy are home, home now? After no, no, no. They... Every, everybody thinks. ¿Cuál sería entonces, Picho? Lo que estás viendo en la pantalla. Everybody ah, thinks. Ah, okay. Permítame. Everybody thinks trading speech is totally real, but trading speech is Totally not real. Continue, continue. They say a woman who appears on the show is we didn't do something on camera. Why we had to do it again to become an actor? Okay. Continue. No, no, no. Thank you very much. Only the pronunciation is spaces, trading spaces. Okay, great. Thank you, Dina, very nice. Miguel, can you please continue? Sure. Uh, so how happy are homeowners after they remodeling generally the parties the participants are thrilled but while couple in portland oregon hate hated their new room they're comfort, comfortable with cramped family room was transformed into a dark movie theater okay thank you very much any questions any vocabulary Where is crap? <clears throat> it's very small space. Like in the car. If you're in the car and there are six people, it's cramped. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of people for the small space. Mm -hmm. The other words are okay? Good. No. Can you please read? Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. But you didn't see? Okay. But you didn't see that on the show. You didn't see me crying. Say, Shannon Pitt. They edited it out of the show. Thank you. Remember pronunciation, edited. 
everything. Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you. Good. It's okay, the vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. The next one, Jose Arturo, can you please read? Um, it really wasn't a non functional room, say Scott Pitt. All you could do was watch TV. So they found themselves remodeling their own space again. Thank you very much. Good. Okay. Any vocabulary? Okay. And Karen. Okay. Uh, but even through Channel and Scott didn't like the way their family room tore out. They'd still be on the shop again. Why? They love redecording their neighbor's place. Okay, great. Any questions? Everything is everything okay? Turned up, turn out. Turned out. Mr. Turned out is the results. The results is turned out. Okay. Teacher, uh, Scott, teacher, and, and Scott, China, Shannon and Scott. Es apellido? Yes. The, no, no, no. Not the last no. name, the first name. Like Andres. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. It's okay? Excellent. So now, what are we going to do? We're going to answer the questions, is true or false? We have six questions. We are going to check with the partners, is true, false, or not given? So for this activity, we have four minutes. Four minutes with our partners in 1.12. Okay, so we can check or make sure that we answer with our partner. Okay, four minutes, let's go. And Nelda, are you okay? Do you have some problems? No, teacher. 
Yes, it is possible. I know El Salvador is raining now. Yes. I have problems. I think it's typical, it's common because uh, for me it's raining here in Santa Tecla, in Santa Ana it's, it's raining. Sonate. I live in Sonsonate, teacher. Uh huh, in Sonsonate it's raining. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's okay, Inelda. Um, do you have any questions about the reading? Um. In the platform? Yes, any questions from the platform? Um, I have problem with uh, the first, um, this reading, let me see, teacher. I can't see. The which one, Inelda? Hmm? You can't see what? The reading I can't see. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, it's... yes. Mm -hmm. Let me see, teacher. Okay, don't worry, Nelda. Uh, we are going to check in this moment with the partners and see what is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay. All right, guys, let's take a look at the answers and see if we understand everything correctly. Okay. Number one, Santiago, what is number one? The number one is true, teacher. True, okay. Good. Noe, number two? Uh, false. 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 Yes. Okay, all right. Kyla, number three? Is not given. Is? Not um, given. Not given, okay, okay. All right. Cesar, number four. Is false. False, okay. Good. Uh, let's see, Miguel, what's number five? It's true. Okay. Karen, number six. Not given. Not given. Okay. Let's take a look. A, number six, not given. Five, true. Four, false. Three, not given. Two, false. And one, true. Great job, teacher. Great job, guys. <laughs> Great job. Okay. Any questions? No, any. No. no. Okay. No, I don't have no thank you, teacher. Perfect. In this moment, we begin Unit 2. Here we have a small introduction for Unit 2. Hi, welcome again. We recommend for you to watch the following video and pay attention to it because you will listen to all the topics we'll study in this section. Remember, you may watch the video as many times as you need to. Sit back and relax. One of the most remote nations on Earth, threatened by rising water levels, has today experienced the damaging impact of what's known as a king tide. Tuvalu is a small group of islands 10,000 miles and 11 time zones away in the South Pacific. Islanders fear that the area could disappear within 50 years if action isn't taken over climate change. Well, our environment correspondent, David Shukman, has travelled to the islands and we can join David there now. Thank you, thank you. It's a stormy time here in the heat of the South Pacific. Just the combination of high tides and strong winds that people dread. Because Tuvalu is so low in the water, 
It really does run the risk of becoming the first country to fall victim to the way our climate is now changing. Incredibly beautiful, but incredibly vulnerable. The fragile strips of green that make up this country only just break the surface of the ocean. But for how much longer? The mighty waves of the Pacific pound the shoreline during what's called a king tide, the highest tides of the year, and the effects can be devastating. This is the island's main road. I mean, we've never seen this in the past, uh, water coming all the way up to this far. And our house is just up behind us. But the water also surges up from underground through the coral the islands are built on. In the space of an hour, the lowest areas are all flooded. Everyone feels the impact. This priest steps carefully through the waters on his way to conduct a funeral. The higher the king tides get, the harder it is to keep things going here. Okay. Tell me, what is happening? Reply, teacher. Repeat. It's all decline. Okay. Good. Day. It's a flood. The lot of water is the flood. And where is the flood? Pacific. Okay. Good, in the Pacific. Now we're going to continue listening and see what other information we can get. So can you grow anything here? No. Because it's too salty? Yeah, too salty. Okay. The seawater is poisoning the soil and people are nervous. It makes me feel scary. So what will happen to us in 10 years time? This isn't like other floods that I've covered with a single catastrophic event. Instead, it's a creeping process with this seawater flowing up into the heart of these islands and slowly, but effectively, killing them off. The water bubbles up in tiny streams and everywhere you look, it just lies on the surface. And the problem is getting worse. At the harbour, the rising swell is monitored by an Australian system. The measurements go back 15 years. And at the local Met office, they say the king tides are getting higher, a trend forecast to continue. In prediction, the next five to ten years, the king tide getting worse and getting higher than normal, then most of the coastal areas would be washed out. The implications are alarming. A typical high tide reaches about two and a half metres. A king tide like now can be more than three. The UN Climate Panel forecasts a rise of another half metre, when the highest point is only about four and a half metres. Now for Tuvalu, each scenario would cost precious land. Only a small rise would see parts of the island go under, perhaps even the runway, a lifeline to the outside world. How long have you got? Not more than 50 years. In fact, some of the islands have already disappeared. Please help us. You cause climate change. You know, the pool of the pays principle must apply. You must give, set up a global fund to which these islands can come and tap into to build their resilience, to build their capacity, their education, technology, and all that, and restore what the damage has been done. People here say there must be a technological fix if a rich country like Dubai can build entirely new islands especially since these are so narrow, you can cross from one side to the other in a few short paces. The problem, they're founded on coral, which is porous. Saving these islands will cost a fortune. For the children of Tuvalu, the floods are fun. But for them to lead their lives on these islands will require massive international support. And with just 11,000 people here, will the outside world think it's worth it? Now, of course, Tuvalu does get some aid, but not nearly enough to keep the rising sea at bay. So the international community 
faces very soon a difficult choice of whether to draw a line between those who get saved and those who don't. And in the meantime, people here are getting ready for another king tide. It's right now it's low. It's due to get very high in about eight hours' time. Back to you in the studio. David, thank you very much. David Chukman there, our environment correspondent uh, in Tuvalu. So we have a lot of information, right? Environment correspondent David Shukman has... There is a lot of information about this island. It's very small. Travel to the islands and we can join David there one now. to the other, super easy. Hugh, thank you. It's... What did they say was the biggest problem was flooding, but they explained a lot of different things. So that's going to help us with this unit. That's the introduction. In this unit, we're going to describe causes. We're going to use the words by, because of, due to, through, as a result of. These are the ideas that we're going to learn. How to describe what happens, okay? So, for example, in the video, why are the tides, the water, why is the, tar the tide rising? Why? Why more water? Not understand the video? It's because for the uh, weather changes. Okay, good. It's for the weather changes. It's global climate, right? Global warming. This is the idea for it, okay? So we're going to take a moment and we're going to make sure that we get all of the ideas, okay? Let's take a look. I'll show you my screen so that we can see how to use it. We have a small words, small video, sorry, to describe these words, by, because of, due to. These are all different prepositions that we use. Hi, after you listen to the audio program and watch the video with the explanation, we are sure you will understand how to describe causes using by, because of, due to, as a result of, and through. Stay with us. Passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Present perfect passive. The roadways have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced due to overcrowding in city shelters. Okay. First, look at the sentences. It's clear the meaning and the usage of by, as a result of, because, through, and due to. Uh, how is the meaning of due to? Ah, is why. Why are they homeless? Why have they been displaced? Due to. Explain. Due to is explain why. Okay, let's continue with the video. Before we go deep into the topic of passive with prepositions, I will divide the topic in two parts to make it easier for you to understand. Number one, present continuous passive. Number two, present perfect passive. I will begin now with number one. Let me show you how to form the present continuous passive. Subject plus is or are being plus past participle. What does the present continuous passive do? It describes an action that is in progress right now. For example, we may say, too many trees are being cut down right now, these days. Or 
water is being contaminated. Ready for number two? Present perfect passive. This is how to form this tense. Subject plus has or have, been plus past participle. We use present perfect passive to describe something that started before the present. The exact time isn't important. For example, too many trees have been cut down recently or in the last years. Okay, before we continue, it's okay. Any questions? Any confusion? It's okay. It's okay, teacher. All right, thank you. In either case, we will add a preposition right after the past participle. We may add by, because of, as a result of, due to, through. Let's then add a preposition to our last example. Too many trees have been cut down because of overbuilding. Note, these prepositions have similar meaning. Remember we have studied passive voice before? So let's make a quick review on the active and passive sentences. Active voice. Air pollution is threatening the health of people. Air pollution is the cause. Is threatening is the verb. The health of people is the object. Number one is air pollution and health of people is number two. So what we do now is exchange one and two, the object and the cause. Then write a preposition, the health of people by air pollution. Notice we left a blank space on the verb. That's because we need to identify the original tense. In this case, it's present continuous and write the verb in that tense. For example, is or are being. Then take the original verb, example, threatened, and make it past participle of it. We will be left out with is or are being plus threatened. We want you to do the next exercise. Rewrite the following sentences using passive plus the prepositions given. Remember, you may do them on our discussion box as well as in your notebooks. Number one, air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to change those sentences and we're going to use that vocabulary. By, because of, as a result of. These are really similar in meaning. They're telling us uh, why something happened. What is the cause of it? Okay. This is the idea for explaining these types of sentences. Now, in the audios, they described active and passive. The idea is passive is receive the action. And active is it, the person or the thing does the action. Okay. I'll take a picture and send to the WhatsApp. Okay. And we're going to try to do these types of sentences with our partners. Here we have. Bye. Number two. Livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water because of. Number three. The burning of gas, oil, and coal has created acid rain as a result of. The use of CFCs in products like hairspray has created a hole in the ozone layer through. Number five, the destruction of rainforest is harming rare plants and wildlife through. Number six, the growth of suburbs has eaten up huge amounts of farmland due to. Okay. So what are we going to do with our partners? We're going to practice. All of those we're going to write correctly. Here we have, okay, we're going to use these prepositions, okay, to rewrite these sentences using these correctly. This is 2.2. 2. 
Remember, what is the difference? Active, do the action. Passive, receive the action. I cook dinner. Dinner is cooked. This is active and passive. And then the grammar is why. Mm, okay. Because. And then or due to or so. This is the idea for explaining why you do something. So are we ready for 2.2? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Yes. yes, yes teacher. Okay, let's do it. Yes. Dina, did you join the groups? Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water's being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Okay. Okay, 
Any questions? Everything is okay? Uh, I didn't understand because okay. I think it's a little bit confused, that topic. Okay, okay. So let's take a look at the different words that we use, right? We use many different words like because, uh, uh, therefore, all of these different words, okay? So this is the important. There are, in this topic, there are many different things that they are talking about. Okay. And the, they talked about passive and they talked about active and they mentioned all of these things. So let me share my screen with you so we can take a look and work together to make sure that it's clear. Okay. So here, Air pollution is straining the health of people in urban areas. What is the main topic? What are we talking about? The health of the, the health people. Of people. The okay. Health. Okay, so then we put, okay. The health of people. What happens with their health? In urban population. Okay. Is is being in urban teacher? In urban areas. Okay. Good. So the health of people is being threatened. Who is threatening them? Air pollution. Air pollution. Okay. By right. air pollution. Air pollution. Good. So the health of people is being threatened by air pollution. This is one of the ways. The idea is to create them so that you can have many. Look, the health of people in, in urban areas is being threatened by air pollution. So we only need to use those prepositions. What about number two? Who would like to try number two? Salt and underground, teacher. Okay. Salt and underground water have been contaminated Mm -hmm. because of livestock farms. Okay, very nice. Look at that. Very good. It's exactly correct. Only the fluency. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, number three. Who's number three? All right, Cesar, try number three. Okay, Enelda, try number three. Okay, I see no one has number three. Let's take a look and see. The burning of gas and oil and coal have Created as a rain, okay. The, the acid rain has been created. Has been created as a result. The, the burning of gas. gas. Correct. There you go. You oh. can check your answer. Is there? Good. What about number four? Number four. Who has number four? Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, a hole in the ozone layer has been created through the use of CFCs in products like hair, hair spray. Okay, very good. There you go. Exactly. Here. 
we can see number four in the correct form in order to check and improve. Make sure you spell it like it's in the platform. If not, you're going to have problems. We're okay? All right. Now we're just going to listen for pronunciation, how to pronounce more naturally. Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water's being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Okay. If you notice here... Being thrown away. They're reducing it by making like a contraction, right? So similar to the idea when we say he is, she is, right? Only we put contraction, is. No is, right? He's, she's. This is the same idea for the contractions there. Is that okay? All right. So now we want to practice a little bit of our speaking. In our speaking, we're going to talk about different things. Remember, we're looking at preposition, explaining why, how, okay, as a result or through. Okay. So let's give one example. So we have many different reasons that we study English, many problems in our cities, many different things that we have in our lives. So this is the idea that we're going to practice. Not just the word and the time, but all of the other ones. Yes? So, so confusing. Okay. Here is, right here, Aneida is already in the screen. Only you had to copy it from there. If you were confused, take a screenshot. That way you can have it, and then later you can put it into your platform. All right, so what are we going to do in this moment then? Now we're going to practice describing problems. What are we going to do? Describe problems and why. Think about your city. Think about the city where you live. Santa Ana, La Union, San Miguel, Chalchuapa, Sonsonate, okay? Think about it. What is a problem in the city? So as an example, I live in Santa Tecla. And in Santa Tecla, there's, there is a lot of garbage in the streets, okay? Or the streets are dirty. Why? Oh, there's a lot of garbage in the streets due to many vendors selling the products in plastic bags. Ah, this is why you have the problem. Hmm. Today, many people have problems connecting to the class. Why? Why have problems connecting to the class? Oh, I have problems of connecting to the class due to the storm in El Salvador. Okay? Or we change. Or we change. As a result of the storm, I have problems connecting to the class. Is this better? Yes, teacher. Yes, better. Okay, thank you. Good, good. So remember, what is the function? The function is to describe the problem, one, and why. Okay, that's what we're going to do right now. Think about your city, express some problems, 
and explain why those are problems. No. Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Write each problem in the chart. 1. Jenny You know, I've been reading a lot about the problem of landfills, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way of disposing of trash is by burying it in landfills. The problem is that in many countries the landfills have already been filled up and it's hard to find places to start new ones. No one wants a huge landfill anywhere near their neighborhood. So what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution, but many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. Two, Adam. I can't believe it's become dangerous to get a suntan. What is this world coming to? Well, the sun has never been good for you, but it's really dangerous now. You see, the ozone layer, which helps protect us from the sun's ultraviolet rays, has been damaged by pollution in the air. When the ozone layer gets too thin, it can cause an increase in skin cancer and other problems. But is there anything we can do to solve the problem? Sure. One of the biggest threats to the ozone layer is cars, the exhaust gases from cars. The best way to save the ozone layer is to drive less. So in many places, people are being asked to carpool. 3. Katie You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No. I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes, where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, Okay. How do you feel? Do you feel more comfortable using the words to describe the problems? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, good. So remember to continue practicing using these auxiliary these words like due to, because, uh, so, okay. Parks have been lost. That's the most important. Now we're going to practice a little bit of listening, okay? What is the topic today? Environmental problems or problems. 
So we're going to listen to three people talking. Identify the problems. Here is 2.5. Okay, and we're going to listen to three people describing the environment, and we're going to select what are they talking about. What were the different topics they were talking about? Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Write each problem in the chart. One, Jenny. You know, I've been reading a lot about the problem of landfills, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way of disposing of trash is by burying it in landfills. The problem is that in many countries the landfills have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. No one wants a huge landfill anywhere near their neighborhood. So, what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution. But many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. 2. Adam I can't believe it's become dangerous to get a suntan. Okay. So, number one, what was Jenny? What was Jenny talking about? What was the problem? Landfills. 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 And what, are, what is this? What is landfills? Um, uh, rivers? No. <laughs> no. Like uh, rivers, like, um, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> landfills is where you put the garbage. So when, um, you, when you take your garbage from the house and you put outside in the street, where? Where does it go? Who fixes it? Who collects it? This is the landfill. Number one was landfill. Let's listen to Adam. What is this world coming to? Well, the sun has never been good for you, but it's really dangerous now. You see, the ozone layer which helps protect us from the sun's ultraviolet rays, has been damaged by pollution in the air. When the ozone layer gets too thin, it can cause an increase in skin cancer and other problems. But is there anything we can do to solve the problem? Sure. One of the biggest threats to the ozone layer is cars, the exhaust gases from cars. The best way to save the ozone layer is to drive less. So in many places, people are being asked to carpool. Okay. What is Adam's problem? The train of the ozone awesome. awesome. Good. The thinning, the thinning of the ozone layer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then the last one, we check if it's correct and they talk about water pollution three katie you know you always hear about air pollution but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution you mean in the oceans no i mean polluted drinking water it's a problem in almost every major city in the world almost all our rivers and lakes where we get our drinking water from are being polluted in some way by businesses farms homes industries and other sources and even though the water most of us drink is treated it's still not a hundred percent pure so what's the solution well it's a complicated problem to solve but basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply so the last one was Water pollution. Water pollution. Water pollution. Okay. And that's how we use today's grammar. Today's grammar is when someone has a, a problem or they're describing, similar to why, uh, because, due to, therefore, furthermore, different words that you use. But the idea is to continue expressing more. Okay? Great. So that means today we finish up to 2.5. Tomorrow we continue in 2.6. Thank you so much for connecting tonight. And we continue tomorrow.
Thank okay, you. teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.